Well, hi, guys. I wanted to give you guys a quick update to let you know uh, what's coming up. I went to Erie, Pennsylvania and met with my surgeon. There was uh, two surgeons in the room, and uh, the one is going to be trained by the other because he's expanding into doing hips. So my surgeon is going to train him. And uh, so they both uh, talked to me, and they both did tests on me, did range of motion on my leg which uh, really aggravated it. It throbbed all the rest of the day coming home from Erie and uh, while being here at home, sleeping at night, I've been taking anti-inflammatories for it, uh, but they did what they needed to do to test the range of motion on my leg. And uh, he told me and explained to me um, what he's gonna do. It sounds pretty horrific. There's five things that he needs to repair in my hip, and he's also gonna do exploratory surgery beyond those five things to see if there's anything else he needs to do while in there. But uh, he needs to uh, puncture through a membrane that goes around the ball socket of the hip. It's almost like a gasket, like a seal, and they have to poke through that. And uh, he also has to use a surgical Dremel to uh, take some of the bone of my hip off because he says I have an abnormal hood. And he says I was born with that. I have too much bone on the one side and the right side is normal. So he's going to shave that back to make it like the right side. And he has to repair the labrum tear uh, of the muscle that wraps up over the socket of the hip. So uh, there's a lot of things he's got to do and then whatever else he has to do while he's in there. And um, this is a pretty horrific surgery. I've been researching it, reading about it, watching videos, and it sounds gruesome. So I will show you in here. So if you are squeamish, you might want to skip this part because I'm going to show some pictures of what they're going to do to me. And uh, right here is where they go into the hip with surgical stainless steel instruments. Uh, a camera and they go in there and they do what they need to do deep inside the ball socket of the hip and this is a surgery that you are completely naked for you're completely nude so that's nice and um, they have uh, your leg in a, a boot that uh, basically pulls and it has a rod connected to it and it pulls the leg back so it almost like separates the ball joint so they can get in there in between the, the, the joint to do what they need to do. And uh, they, it's just a very invasive surgery. But uh, they, he said that they will use anesthesia on me as well as an epidural. They put a needle in the back uh, spinal column of your back and that is to paralyze you from the waist down. And I've heard that it takes up to three hours to get the feeling back in your legs in recovery. So the total time in recovery is going to be about four hours because you got to wait for the other to wear off and you got to wait for your legs uh, to where the feeling comes back to where you can stand up on crutches without bearing weight on the side that's been operated on. And uh, it's same day surgery, so it's going to be a very long day. Um, then I got a long ride home, 45, 50 minute ride, which is, you know, is a short ride, but it seems long when you're in a hell of a lot of pain. Um, so I got that to look forward to. And then uh, I'll either be home with in-home care or they may recommend that I go to a rehab. I really don't know you guys, but I wanted to let you know that that's coming up. My uh, pre-op appointment is the 21st of this month. And then I go into surgery uh, the morning of December 1st. So December 1st is when I have my hip done. And, uh, and he said I will be on crutches anywhere from four to six weeks. I'm going to have multiple weeks of physical therapy twice a week. So this is going to go on for months, you guys. It's going to take up the bulk of my winter. So doing anything, going anywhere, making videos isn't going to happen, you guys. It's just too much. Um, they said that I'm going to need care around the clock, someone to be with me around the clock. I don't have someone to be with me around the clock, so i got to think about either in-home health care or just go it alone um, because I really, really don't want to go to rehab. Um, I'll just have to deal with it. Uh, but uh, the, only, the only videos I'll be able to do, you guys, is right here from home, and it'll probably be from my bed. And that's the only videos I'm going to be able to do. It's going to really make my channel suffer. Uh, nobody's going to want to watch those videos. Um, it's going to make the analytics on my channel drop. It's going to make my income drop. The whole channel is going to suffer. I just wanted to give you guys an update, but that's when it's being done is December 1st. And I'm not looking forward to the long, long, long 
road of recovery and being stuck indoors 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I had my uh, my wrist done and uh, it's healing up good. I got to just get the stitches out and then in the spring will be the Palmer fasciectomy to get this taken care of. So, and then after that is my knee and then God knows what else. So, you know, you guys, it just keeps going on. It doesn't end. So anyway, uh, that's the update, and I'm just uh, looking forward to getting this put behind me, and we will see if I will be able to hike next year and how far. So, But my hip is screwed up. So I have bad arthritis, arthritis in it, and they also found osteoporosis in the hip. So who knows? I got to wear a mechanical hip brace following surgery um, that is lockable and adjustable for different degree radius. So I have to wear that, and I also have to wear compression socks for two weeks to avoid blood clots uh, and to keep the swelling down on the left foot. So anyway, um, I will just vlog about this surgery. Um, I'll probably do a video from the hospital room the day of surgery, and then I'll hand Sandy my phone. I will do post-op videos, and I will keep you guys informed on how I'm doing, how the pain is, uh, stuff like that, and um, just you know, fun videos. So that's the update, you guys. I'll see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.